Now to our series renters rights. This morning we are talking security deposits, but we have been helping to educate you for the last several days. Last Friday, an attorney explained what to do if your landlord serves you with an eviction notice. And then on Thursday, we walked you step by step through the legal process that you must follow before you decide to just stop paying your rent in order to protect to be protected under the law. If you're having an ongoing dispute, of course, with your landlord who's failing to fix things in your home. This morning, we want to help you ensure that you get all of your security deposit returned to you. Annie Rodriguez is an attorney with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid and joins us live via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? So first, there are certain things in the lease that a tenant should look for that could lead to problems later getting all their money back. Would you explain what those are? Yes, so when you get your lease, you're going to want to hunt through there and see if there's any provisions that say there's an automatic deduction, like say for carpet cleaning, there may be a flat fee for cleaning. Um, you know, you don't have to agree to those and you can ask that those be removed. Is it ever a good idea to agree to accept the unit as is? No, so always do a walkthrough. Um, sometimes whenever you're trying to get moved in and get the lease signed, um, you know, people will sign the lease before they've actually done a good walkthrough of the unit. So it's important that you go through, you take a lot of pictures. And then, and that's important, not only to take pictures and video, but you actually reminded me of something that I hadn't thought about, making sure that you don't lose those pictures. Maybe a good idea, of course, to then email it to yourself. So, so Annie, I'd like to talk about four things a tenant should do, though, when they're ready to move out. Yes, so always ask for a move out inspection, ha uh, do a walkthrough with your landlord to make sure everybody um, is on agreement of what the condition of the unit is. Um, you wanna take pictures, like we said, you know, everybody walks around with a little evidence gathering device in their pocket. So take pictures, do a video walkthrough, document anything um, that you think may be an issue later. And then you always have to provide a forwarding address. Even if you don't have an address yet, maybe send uh, have it sent to um, somebody that you know and you trust and then always get a key receipt, whether that just be something in writing from the landlord that says, I got the keys. Um, that's an important piece of paper to have. And can a tenant just decide, you know, I'm not going to pay the last month's rent. I'm just going to tell the landlord to apply the security deposit to that. <laughs> You know, if the landlord agrees to that, great. But uh, that's a great way to not get your deposit back if you want to do that. Right. So by when does a landlord have to return the security deposit? And can he or she just withhold what they want? So they ha they're they supposed to send you within 30 days a notice of claim on the security deposit. If they don't do that, then they forfeited their right to the deposit. And would you explain what a notice of claim is? So that would be something that outlines what the charges are, um, what the landlord thinks that you owe, and what they're trying to take out of the deposit before they return it to you. And what if you disagree with that? What can you do? So you should first respond with a written dispute um, and try to work it out with the landlord. If you're unable to work it out with the landlord, then your next step would be to file a small claim suit. And, and Annie, would you explain to our viewers who may not be aware of what uh, Jacksonville Area Legal Aid provides, would you explain what services you provide? Sure, so we provide um, a, a, a lot of different services for um, tenants. Um, we can defend evictions, um, we can provide advice on security deposits, we can provide assistance in disputing uh, claims on a security deposit, and just making sure that um, the tenant's rights are protected under the law. And I want to point out that this is free. This is a free yes. legal service available. And yes. you have uh, multiple locations where you service not just Duval County. Yes, that's correct. We have Duval, Nassau. Uh, actually, there's several counties, but um, our main offices are in uh, Clay County, St. John's County, and Duval County. Annie Rodriguez with Jacksonville Area Legal Aid joining us this morning. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jennifer.